Hello Virgo, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we have very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. This could definitely represent a decision needing to be made on someone's behalf. It could also represent that something unexpected is going to happen very soon, but we'll see what it's more so leaning towards. We're going to focus on you first, Virgo, and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is Mm, mm, okay okay um also keep in mind time is fluid so this could either currently be happening or may be happening at a later date i don't feel like you're the king of wands i feel like you're dealing with a king of wands yeah i feel like you're the empress in all of this i do you know what's interesting though virgo um is that i feel like this person's gonna really overpower your reading and i really don't like when stuff like this happens but we're just gonna go with the flow okay um, i'm gonna try my hardest to really pick up on your overall energy as much as i can but i feel like this one over here is gonna really start to overpower your reading because it kind of looks like they're already starting okay um so let's focus on this this king of wands of yours you could be dealing with a fire sign strongly so an aries leo maybe even a sag maybe even an earth sign i mean zodiac sign doesn't matter at this point but i feel like this person I feel like this person's trying to like woo you, Virgo. It's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. They're trying to woo you. They're trying to impress you. I mean, this is somebody who's definitely coming in really trying to put their best foot forward here when it comes down to you. It's almost in a sense where they want to really show you that they really, really want you. So they're willing to kind of do whatever it takes at this point to really show you that. We'll see. We'll see how this all unfolds here, I guess, uh, between you and this person. But let's look at this human. How does this person currently view this? For, I see, I, I knew that they were going to try to overpower your reading. I do want to, like, once I'm done breaking this person's overall energy down again, I do want to look into you just to kind of see where your head's at and how you're kind of feeling about all of this. Um, I do kind of feel like a lot of you might feel a little bit overwhelmed by this person and their approach. But we have the Seven of Wands, we have the Death card, and then we also have the King of Cups. Interesting. Tell me more about the Death card. Tell me more about the Death card. Interesting, Virgo. Interesting. Um, I'm going to be honest. You're this your 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 little king of wands over here, they do kind of come off to me as like a as like a little bit of a of a player is the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm actually witnessing here with my own two eyes. Um I feel like they're cutting this queen of swords out of their life. Yeah, I feel like they're cutting this Queen of Swords out of their life. And I feel like it does have a lot to do with the simple fact that, well, now that you're in the picture, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like they're they're getting rid of this Queen of Swords. Yeah, they're getting rid of this Queen of Swords here. And this could be somebody that they were dating, possibly. But see, look at this. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. This is why I'm like, mm, they kind of come off to me as like a little bit of a player, but we're going to get into it. Um, I just kind of feel like... I just kind of feel like this Queen of Swords is going to... They're going to be left feeling very, very disappointed and very angry and very upset uh, with this person that now all of a sudden wants to just prioritize you and focus on you you know what I mean um I feel like this person I'm not gonna lie Virgo I feel like this person that's like currently after you like I feel like this person really did fuck with this queen of swords head to be completely honest like I feel like they made them believe yeah I feel like they made them believe that one day they were gonna have something amazing and beautiful with one another and they just all of a sudden decided to kind of just switch up on them out of the blue and it's leaving them feeling very conflicted and very confused as to why that is Virgo, Virgo, I will be careful, dude. I will be very, very careful because I, I honestly, I don't feel like you know what you're getting yourself into. Don't get, don't get me wrong. Like, 
they are ending things here with this this queen of swords over here they are they definitely are but i feel like the reason why they're doing it is because of you but i feel like this queen of swords is going to be left like questioning well what the fuck just happened like what just happened you know what i mean like why are they just leaving me all of a sudden i don't understand i don't get it like i just feel like this person switched up on them out of nowhere just like it's like they woke up one morning and they're just like, you know what, Queen of Swords, I think you're a lovely person, but yeah, let's just go our separate ways today, uh, immediately. I want to see why this per why is this person ending things with the Queen of Swords? Virgo. The reason why they're ending things with this Queen of Swords is because there's a new beginning that they secretly want to go off and pursue. And if I would have to like bet my last dollar on it, I feel like that new beginning is basically with you. I just feel like they're not telling them that. That's the thing. I feel like they're not telling them that. And I feel like it's, it's because they don't want to... They don't want to give this this queen of swords a reason to like go off on them is like the best way that i can describe what it is that i'm seeing here there's like a hidden new beginning that they want to go off and pursue here i wouldn't say hidden new beginning there's like a secret uh new beginning that they want to go off and pursue yeah that sounds a lot better just go with it virgo like i feel like i'm coming down with a cold and i'm just like blah today but yeah I feel like there's like a secret new beginning that they want to go off and pursue they're just not telling them that and i feel like that new beginning is basically with you so then there's that so then there's that virgo okay let's look at you virgo Tell me more about this Empress. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're really into this person. I do. Like, I feel like you're really into them. You're really, really into them. Just be careful, though, because I just feel like this one over here just recently ended things abruptly here between them and another human. And that other human's pretty pissed off to say the least. It's like, there's such a lack of clarity that this Queen of Swords has. It's not even funny. And yeah, let's just keep going. Let's see what else we can get here. But I feel like you're really into them. I do. I feel like you're really into them. How does uh, Virgo currently feel? I don't feel like this is your overall energy. I swear I don't. I don't feel like this is your overall energy at all. I feel like it's this King's energy. This is them basically seeking outside help. In regards to something so we're gonna look into it because i feel like it has everything to do with this queen of swords if i'm being honest tell you more about something stressing them out something stressing them out and i feel like they could very well be like seeking outside help in regards to whatever it is that they're stressing over so let's look into that tell me more about the nine of swords We got the Ten of Wands, we got the Strength card, we also have the Ten of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles, and then we also have the Chariot to the Four of Wands. Now remember, the Ten of Cups came out with the Queen of Swords, so we got the Ten of Cups here again, all right? Um, it kind of looks like they're having a very difficult time getting rid of this Queen of Swords, is the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. It's like they're trying to get rid of them but they won't go away. So I feel like they're trying to figure out like what they could possibly do here about this Queen of Swords. So I'm about the Page of Pentacles. There's like an overall energy of them wanting to tell you like what's really going on, right? Behind the scenes, but they're afraid. They're afraid to tell you what's really going on because their biggest fear is that they're gonna end up losing you. And with the Four of Pentacles, that's just them gripping onto you, not wanting to basically lose you. But they're afraid that if they were to tell you, like, yo, 
I got a very difficult time getting rid of this queen of swords. They don't want to leave me. Like, they don't want to tell you all of that because they have this massive fear that, that you're going to end up walking away and that you're going to basically want absolutely nothing to do with them. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back to the right. How does this person feel? We have the full, we have the six of swords, and then we also have the nine of wands. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the ten of swords. We also have the three of swords, and then we have the judgment card. I feel like this queen just wants to know why, though. Why? Why are you leaving me? What the hell did I do wrong? Like, it has that feel to it. Like, I feel like this Queen of Swords did absolutely nothing to this person. Absolutely nothing but try to love them, to be honest. And the fact that they're just like, yeah, it's just not going to work out. I'm sorry. Out of nowhere, it's like, it's leaving them so conflicted and so confused. They just want answers. They just want to know why. Which makes sense as to why this person came in with that overall energy of like, you know, them really trying their hardest to get rid, get rid of this Queen of Swords, but they're having a very difficult time with that. They want answers. They want answers. They want to know why. Why are you leaving me? Why are you ending things with me? And the thing is, is that this king that's currently after you doesn't want to tell them why. Because I'm pretty sure this king is basically afraid that this Queen of Swords is going to try to self sabotage things here between you and them. They just want answers. They just want to know why. That's it, you know? And then they'll move on with their life. But I feel like this, this no, this, no. This King of Wands is not trying to tell this Queen of Swords why. They just ended things abruptly with them. They're not trying to do that. They're not. They're not. They're not. Um, okay. Let's keep going, you guys. It's like it's crazy because I'm not even picking up on your energy, to be completely honest. That's how far away you are from, like, this entire situation, Virgo. But I feel like you're so oblivious, dude, to what's going on behind the scenes. So oblivious to it. But it's like they don't dare tell you either. They don't dare tell you. They do not dare tell you. Okay, let's do this. What actions will Virgo take towards this person or moving forward? We have the Four of Pentacles. We got the Eight of Pentacles, and then we also have the Death card. What actions? Jesus, the drama, Virgo. What actions? We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune, and then we also have the Ace of Wands. See, this is where it gets scary. We got the Seven of Cups to the Lord, to the Devil, to the Moon, to the Ace of Cups. The, the, this is the thing, right, with this King of Wands, right, is that they really don't have any sort of intentions of working things out here between them and this Queen of Swords or even getting, you know, back together with them. Like, they really, really do want things to come to an end here between them and this Queen of Swords. And I feel like it has a lot to do with because they just simply want to pursue you, Virgo, right? Here, here's here's the problem, though, is that I feel like this Queen of Swords is not stupid, okay? That is this King of Wands' biggest issue. I feel like this Queen of Swords is not freaking stupid. Like, I feel like they know something's up. Something's not right. I just feel like the way that they ended things with them was so fucking suspicious. It wasn't even funny. Like, I just feel like they just woke up one day and just out of the blue decided to end things with them. I really, really do. And I feel like this Queen of Swords feels like, nah, something's up. Like, you're not telling me something. And I feel like they're going to go on this scavenger hunt to really figure out why did this King of Wands end things with me? Why? I need to know why. I need to know why. It's almost in a sense where they just need this closure, to be completely honest. Like, they just need the closure um, so that way they can move forward and move on with their life. But it's very hard for them to move forward and move on with their life when they feel like this king just abruptly ended things with them just to do it. Just to fucking do it. It's like, I feel like the way that they went about it was too suspicious. It was way too suspicious. Like, I just feel like they, they just woke up one morning and they're just like, 
yeah, we had a nice run together, but it's time for you to go your way and it's time for me to go my way. Just out of nowhere, out of nowhere. And I feel like curiosity, this is the scary part, right? Is that curiosity is going to really sink in. And this Queen of Swords is going to go on a scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. They're going to go on a scavenger hunt because they want to know why. They want to know why. Like, I see them actually becoming very obsessed with the, 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 you know, I just need to know, you know? I just need to know. I just need to know. Okay. So, tell me more. Tell me more. We have the King of Pentacles, we have the Five of Swords, we got the Ten of Wands, and then we also have the Star to the Six of Pentacles, and then we also have the Seven of Cups. This King is going to have a very difficult time. Oh, yeah. They're going to have a very difficult time building the relationship that they actually want with you because of all of this, how do you say it in English, all of this mess that's going on behind the scenes, basically. Okay, so I want to see the outcome here between you and this person, Virgo. And then we're going to see what's going to end up happening here with this one. Because there's so much anger and there's so much rage coming from them that that's why I'm just like, Virgo, this is now this is kind of getting a little scary. Okay, I just don't feel like you know what you're getting yourself into. Like, I don't feel like you know what's going on behind the scenes here. I really, really don't. Like, I feel like you're so oblivious to it. But again, it's like let's be honest it doesn't really benefit this king of wands to sit here and tell you the truth like it just doesn't because their biggest thing is is that they just don't want to scare you away right that is their biggest thing but the fact that they have someone like this attached to them that's filled with anger and rage and now they're trying to figure out like well why did this king leave me why did this king leave me like all base all roads lead back to you virgo basically all roads lead back to you right you're the reason you know why this person basically left this person in particular i just don't feel like you're aware of all of this you know what i mean like i don't feel like you were aware that like i guess when you guys cross paths with one another they were dealing with somebody else I don't, I don't feel like you're aware of all of that stuff but again it's like i don't feel like it benefits this king to tell you that i, I really don't i don't feel like it benefits them to tell you that okay what's the outcome between virgo and this this king Okay, so we have the, okay, okay, I wasn't expecting that from them. We have the five of cups, we have the six of swords, and then we also have the seven of swords. The so six to the seven creates an ace of swords at play, which is basically the sword of truth. They're clearly keeping something from you, Virgo, and they feel terrible about it. They feel absolutely terrible about it, but they feel like they have to. Like they feel like they honestly have to keep this to themselves on, you know, what's going on behind the scenes because they don't want to lose the relationship that they want to, you know, that the relationship that they're building with you is what I meant to say. Sorry. Okay. This, this past person, Jesus, man, this cold is like really starting to get to me, man. I'm surprised I'm even working, but you know, the show must go on. Um, what's the outcome here between this king and this queen of swords? They're going to have a very difficult time getting rid of this, um, this, um, queen of swords. I just don't feel like they're being honest with them. I really, really don't, but I can see why they feel like they can't be honest with this queen of swords. You know what I mean? Like, I can see why they feel like they can't, to be completely honest, because... I think their biggest fear is how the Queen of Swords is going to respond and react to all of this. Like, if this person were to tell them straight up, like, listen, the reason why I don't want to be with you anymore is because I met Virgo, right? Like, they don't know how that Queen of Swords is going to respond and react. You know what I mean? So they're not going to, they're not going to tell them that. They're not going to tell them that. You know what I mean? This one over here just finds themselves in the only predicament, man. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. I just feel like they dug themselves into this freaking hole and they're trying to find a way out. They're trying to find a way out. They're trying to get rid of this queen of swords so they can go off and pursue this relationship that they want to pursue with you. But at the same exact time, here they are sitting here lying to you and keeping all of this hidden from you because they don't want to lose you. Like, I just feel like this, this king just dig themselves into the only freaking hole, man. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. 
Let's see if you'll eventually end up finding out. Will Virgo end up eventually finding out? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think that you, I don't think so. I don't think you'll uh, end up finding out about this. I don't. And I feel like it has a lot to do with how this person's going about this entire situation. Like they are fully aware of what's going on behind the scenes. So they're going to, for the most part, try their hardest to really protect you from all of that drama and nonsense because they don't want to ruin this opportunity that's being presented to them to basically be with you. So they're going to do everything in their power to try to like keep you away from all of this drama and chaos that's going on behind the scenes here. I am kind of getting this for some of you and it's not going to resonate for all of you, but I do kind of feel like this person could it, like, for example, let's say, you know, you guys get serious to the point where you guys, you know, decide to meet each other's family and stuff like that. This person might even tell their family members or their friends to not tell you anything, to not tell you anything. I don't tell Virgo about the Queen of Swords. Okay, okay, okay. You know, and they're not going to, they're not going to. So, mm. Virgo, if you only knew. But yeah, I don't feel like you're going to find out about it because I feel like they're going to really try to protect you from all of that. All right. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, the link is in the description box down below and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.